Previously on The Cloud's Daughters. I'm not a charity case. I work for my bed and board. And Jodie is my daughter. And I don't want her involved in any criminal activity. I mean it, Becky. I don't want her being influenced by somebody who has no respect for anything or anyone. Need crutching. <laughs> gotcha. It's okay, Tess. Everything's under control. See ya. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? Tess. I'm trying to break her in. Sorry. Don't you just get on her and she backs around until she stops? No, you don't have to do it like that. Well, can I help? No. This is, um... This is quite hard. Good girl. You're a beauty, aren't you? This about your old man, eh? It'll take some time to find your heart and come back home. You could walk for miles across every river and find your not alone. Cause I'll be there. Yes, the eggs are fresh. No, no. Oh, come in, please. You saved me from the cat story. Well, Jack, it's a tennis ball. I'll try and keep it all up in the air at the same time. Oh, sorry. Here, let me take it. Oh. Would you like a cup of tea? I was just about to make one. Oh, I love one. Uh, I can't stop, though. Busy day. This woman was going on and on about her marmalade. She used her dead cat as fertiliser. Oh, that, that'll be Isabel Hart. She's a great lady. I never thought much about the cat, but I'll give my right arm for some of her preserve. I've got a sister lives in this part of Melbourne. Oh! Oh, please, 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 let it be. Very fancy. Well, you know what they say, time's money. I'm afraid I'll have to be on my way. Oh, you know, funny thing, old socks was a marmalade tom. Real coffee. Smell it. Got this at an auction? It was a total bargain. Been keeping it at my friend Brownie's place. Getting in the way there, was it? Who wants first cappuccino? Yeah, I can front the milk. All right. One cup of this and you are never going to want instant again. Well, yes, we'll see. Well, I'll have a double macchiato. 
Good, I'm glad to see your education wasn't entirely wasted. Let's hope that's just a fuse. I'm getting back to work. Me too. This is so not my day. Been the sea this morning. Just wanted to make sure all the stock were watered before it got too late. Fair enough, but you got to remember to let someone know what you're up to. I think it's just better to get the work done instead of wasting time talking about it. Gee, I thought I was a boss. Don't tell me your hair dryer. This place is stuffed, Claire. You cannot blame me. God, it's like every morning we're out checking the fences, checking the troughs. We're checking them. What about the house? It doesn't take care of itself either. The roof leaks, the plumbing sucks. If the electricity is that temperamental, we're lucky the place hasn't burnt down. If someone neglected one of your stupid cows the way you neglect this house, you would have a brain hemorrhage. I don't suppose you had anything to do with it. What? The house fusing out. Nothing at all to do with that stupid machine in the kitchen. It's an espresso maker. I thought you'd like... Tess, I don't want to hear it. And I'm not going to take advice from you on how to run the place. Fine. Where are you going? I want a cappuccino. Great. Useless piece of crap. All right. So now you leave. You can tell she's one of Sirocco's. <laughs> yeah, she's a beauty. Yeah, doesn't like to be penned up. No. Becky's mum. Great. A bit drafty in here. I like it. But it isn't home, is it? It is now. Beck, I want you to come back. I just told you this is my home now. I miss you. <laughs> oh. I remember when you were little. And your dad would do his block over something, and I'd be outside crying, and there you were, bringing me out tissues. Went through a lot of those. I could always count on you. Pity I can't say the same back. I know I haven't been the best mum in the world, but you're my daughter. I miss. 
miss you and I want you to come home. Where are you off to? Town. Oh, picking up supplies, are you? Getting a coffee? Bring me my old saddle. You're not going to try and ride her yet, are you? No, I just want to get her used to it first. Mum wants me to go back home. She says she needs me. Hey, but we need you too. Is this about this morning? No, Mum asked me. I don't want to leave you in the lurch. Hey, who else am I supposed to talk to? Tony. It's family. Funny, is it, huh? Huh? Get away from me, don't you dare! Come and look at this. Yeah, right, like I'm getting out. No, you've done your axle. Come and have a look. No, that's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Ow! Sure, that's not cow dung. Welcome, welcome. Hi, how are you, Harry? All the better for seeing you, Tess. Tess? You're Claire's sister? Oh, sorry, Mum. Tess Silverman, this is my mum, Liz. Hi. Oh, I didn't know places like this existed anymore. I think I might have to use the servant's entrance. Oh, no. Yes, I've been hearing a lot about you. But I was under the impression you were only here on a short stay. Really depends how long Claire and I can go without killing each other. Yeah, I can imagine that. So, where's this spa bath you've been telling me about, Alex? Oh, right, this one. Oh, my God. I knew living in the country couldn't be all bad. Oh, this is the shampoo I use. And conditioner. I'm tired and gone to heaven. If you'd like to leave your dirty clothes outside the door, I'll take care of them for you. Thank you. Oh, 
really went to town when you left. Yeah. And he's taking the top bunk too. So you just kick him out. It's good to have you back, love. Hmm? You need a hand in there with anything? Dream on, Alex. half a second to see if someone answers it. Are you going to get out or what? I'm sorry. Oh, my God. What are you smoking about? Nothing. Get a life already? The one I have suits me just fine. I'm sorry, I thought you were one of the boys again. Right. Oh, I bought you something clean to put on. You can keep that. I was going to give it to the Good Samaritans anyway. Ah, oh, thanks. That's very kind. Mm. say you were giving it away. What's this? It's a program we've been using to keep track of the stock. Oh, does it check the fences for you? Yeah, hello, Harry Ryan. Uh, yes, I do. All right. How come you get reception? Satellite. I can't believe she just took off like that. I mean, we don't even know where she is. Oh, she just rang before. She's staying for tea at the Ryans. Oh, right. I can't believe you've actually got video monitors to check whether or not your animals have got enough to drink. There you are. Hey, Mum. Dad. Well, you know, if we had the same thing for humans, it'd be a really happy day. What can I get you? No, let me. I can put my education to some use. Degree in hospitality, I'll make a killer cocktail. Next, you'll be telling us you've got a PhD in hors d'oeuvres. Can I offer anyone a martini? Cosmopolitan? Long Island iced tea? How about a screaming orgasm? Well, thanks, love, but I think maybe we should all have a drink first. <laughs> <laughs> Good grief, she's like a virus. Oh, Mrs Ryan, how about a daiquiri? Apricots I love. Chicken, well, apart from the whole issue with the hormones. Well, chicken is great too. What I want to know is who thought up the idea to put them together. No, thank you. So we can assume it's not one of your favourites? You do seem to be quite passionate on the subject. Look, I've got nothing against Meg. It's just that three times a week you can get a bit sick of it. <laughs> oh, in that case, I should probably just pop back into the kitchen and make you something else. Oh, there's no need for that. Really, I eat anything. Actually, we haven't learned. You should have seen the look in your face. 
<laughs> Can't believe how nice it is to have some peace for a change. Why Tess goes on. She wastes more oxygen than she does water. Well, at least oxygen's free. There's nothing else you need. No, you're not eating? Well, Jodie's a bit upset about Becky. Personally, I think it's a good thing, but you can't tell Jodie that. So we're gonna make some popcorn, watch a movie. You can join us if you want. Oh, no, I'm exhausted. Early night for me. All right, then. Enjoy. Well, don't you think it'd be smarter to get an electrician in and totally rewire the house rather than do a patch-up? It's a big house. That'd be a costly job. Look, I know it won't be cheap. Still, I suppose when you've got a huge overdraft and adding more just... <laughs> well, it just becomes academic. Well, you know, who doesn't have an overdraft in the country? I mean, it sounds like a lot of trouble to go to for a cup of coffee, love. It might be cheaper just to kick the habit. <laughs> See, Mother obviously thinks we've got a massive overdraft. Exactly how massive are we talking about? I don't know, but if you were prepared to be bored rigid by my brother, He'd tell you if you're not in debt, you're not using your money wisely. I'll remember that the next time I buy a pair of shoes I don't need. Oh. What was that? Oh, Rue. My jeans have been ironed. And starched. <laughs> now that's mum for you. Put her in the laundry, she goes crazy. She even irons undies. She really needs to get out more. So, thanks for all your help today. Yeah, no worries. I hope we're going to see a lot more of you over at our place. Yeah, your mother will love that. Yeah, she will. Your mum never gets a chance for girly company. Alex, she hates me. Get out of here. Why would she hate you? I don't know. Maybe she thinks I want to take advantage of you or something. God. Well, I hope she's right. If we do this... That'll make her right, and um, I'm not quite sure I want her to win. Tess? Yeah. Right now, I don't want to be thinking about my mother. <sighs> so 
So you can ask me. I have to, but I told you. Coffee machine's broken. Yeah, drink coffee. And you won't have any trouble getting to sleep, will you? Bye, darling. Dad's arms and legs are still painted on. He's waiting on breakfast too. What time does Mike start? I thought he'd be here by now. Mike left. When? A couple of days ago. Oh, can you look after him? Sometime today would be good. told me about the overdraft. Liz Ryan threw it in my face over dinner. If I had a known about it, I might have had a halfway decent comeback. You talked about the overdraft? Yeah, apparently everyone but me knows. Oh, God, I don't believe it. You discussed our financial state over a dinner table. Oh, trust uh, two whiskies and he's bloody selling half All right, the world so you don't actually think it's a big deal wearing debt up to our eyeballs. You only care that other people know about it. Good girl. I want to go through the books. See what else is going on with this place. Knock yourself out. They're in the study. Claire's yeah. 25th had a Butte Chinese feed. Overdraft payment made on the 13th. Tess would be 18 today. Hope she's happy. Sorted out all our problems, have you? I need to get that worked up about it. I thought when we left that was it. I thought he just totally wiped me and mum. Every year until I was ten he sent me a card. Birthday and Christmas. I can't believe my mum sent all these back if I'd just known... Did Jack ever say anything? What? About the cards when they came back. Was he upset? I never even knew he sent them. I better get back to work. My darling daughter, Tess. Even though I can't be with you today, on your sixth birthday, I want you to know that I love you very much. You love me, Claire. Claire, 
you remember this? Um, you were three and Jack was really worried about you. You weren't eating anything, he thought you were really sick. Well, so cute, listen. Today the mystery's solved. Heading back to work after breakfast, Claire stopped me, crying her eyes out. She said she knows all the baby lambs and cows have to be sent away, but could you please keep her baby sister? You thought they were going to sell me. Near as a waste of time. Wouldn't have got a good price for you. All right, so now you do remember. What are you doing? Packing up Dad's clothes. There's plenty of stuff other people can use. Oh, this is nice. Can I have it? Sure, why not? Sorry. why I can't come. Because you have to clean out the troughs. Oh, goody. You ready? Let's go. Tess found some cards from Dad. Birthdays and Christmas. Did you know he sent them? Yeah. <laughs> he worshipped the ground he walked on, you know. Can you do those? Dishwashers on the blink. Sure. And hand me the broom. I can stick it up my ass and sweep the floor at the same time. Don't get smart, Bex. Or what? Buy me? It's pretty sus how Mike takes off and suddenly you realise how much you miss me. Don't worry. I'll do it. Wouldn't want you to strain yourself. Thank you. Uh, Meg inside too, or is she working in the yard? No, she's gone to town. Oh. Why? Oh, uh, no reason. I just thought I'd say hello. That's all. Hello, Tess. Butch your car back. Thanks. Too nice a day to be uh, doing paperwork. Has your mother ever lied to you? <laughs> you like bringing her into it, don't you? I thought we had this totally honest relationship. And I know she probably thought what she was doing was for my own good, which is ironic considering she was a counsellor and she shouldn't have known so much better. I just wish I could ask her about it. And I think, like, maybe that's the real reason I'm upset is because I'm never going to see her again. I'm never going to be able to ask her about anything. Look. You sound real busy, okay? So maybe I might just leave you to it. But it's the same with Jack. I'm never going to be able to tell him I wish I had got the cards from him. Keys are in the beat up, okay? Bex, counter. I finished. I can't believe I was so dumb to fall for it. I don't remember telling you we'd won the lottery. I never said you didn't have to work anymore. No, you just gave me some garbage about how much you really miss me. Do you think it's different anywhere else? Do you think Claire McLeod isn't using you? Do you think that Ms McLeod isn't taking you for a ride? <laughs> I bet she's got you doing all the shit jobs on drivers' <laughs> Just shut up! This is what counts right here. I'm the one that raised you, looked after you. Yeah, thanks, Mum. You're a great role model and I just love being part of Gungellan's premier family. Yes, gentlemen.
Becky about? Why? Just wanted to say hello. You might fool Becky, but you don't fool me. Never gave us the time of day till the blokes walked out on you. Ah, well, she won't last long. Little bludger. I guess that depends on who she's working for. Stuck up, bitch. tried to talk to me. I was just too caught up with Blaze to notice. Why don't you whip yourself a bit more? Maybe you're responsible for her dropping out of school too. Not Claire. Yeah, I've already seen her. Do you want to lift? Yeah, I'm down a hand. Some blood you walked out on me this morning. Just give us some time to yourself, please. So here's the thing. Yesterday morning when I said you had to let someone know what you're up to, there's a reason for that. It's a big place and if you get pelted off a horse or something, I don't want to waste a whole day looking for you. Fair enough. It takes five minutes to let someone know where you are and what you're going to be doing. It's got nothing to do with me checking up on you. Made the place look good. <laughs> well, that looks familiar. <laughs> Can I come in now? Is the secret meeting over? Yesterday she was wild. Yesterday she thought I was the enemy. So anyway, I've made a decision. <clears throat> I'm moving in. But you're already in. On a more permanent basis, I've already arranged for the rest of my stuff to be bought down. Another cappuccino machine, perhaps? Half this place is mine, which means half the debt's mine. So I'm going to stay here for another six months, help get the overdraft paid down. I saved. Hallelujah. I found the best website. It tells you how to be a Dillaroo. And one easy lesson. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, that Liz is an Academy Award winning bitch. Oh, she's all right. No way, when was the last time you were over there? I don't know. Alex's 21st? Mm -hmm. Claire, that was like how many years ago? Not that long ago. Well, don't you ever pop over? No, why would I do that? Oh, I get it. This is one of those country things, isn't it? No one does the popover. Am I right? It's not high on the list of priorities. Um, 
just so you know, tomorrow I'll probably get up at 5.30, have a shower, maybe a cup of coffee. 6.30 to 8, I'll be moving the sheep uh, down into the south paddock, followed by breakfast. Then checking fences and yard work should keep me busy until about 4.30, which time I thought I might take a pee. <laughs> Shh. If that's all right with you. Actually, 4.35 would suit me better. Did I tell you about the spa bar? Yeah. yeah. Still can't believe you haven't been there for that long. You should drop over there more often. If for nothing else, it's totally worth it to see the guys falling over themselves to get your attention. OK, here we go. Everybody ready? Ready. Ready. Can we get on with it? Radio. Okay, Meg, hit it. Lights off. Jodie. Radio off. Becky. Yep. Fridge off. Okay. Yes. It's hard to be clear 